Perfect. Okay. So we're on page 18, and I'm going to pull this down. Nope, I said down, not up. And the title of this is Multiply Using the Traditional. So let's go ahead and put that at our title here on the very top. Now, if my friends, if you printed this part out like I sent to parents, great. You're going to take this and you're just going to glue it right here at the top. So if your parent printed this out for you, then make sure you cut it and glue it right here at the top. That's where we're going to write it. Okay, so we're going to title it Multiply. Using, we're just going to say traditional. I'm going to zoom it up. Give me a moment. I know my finger wasn't, my hand was in the way. I'm going to zoom it in. Okay, multiply using traditional way. This is the way your parents know how to multiply. So, again, if your parent went ahead and they were able to print this out, this section right here, then all you need to do is cut it and glue it. It is not in the packet that was a previously printed. It was just recently sent to your parents yesterday. So if you don't have it, that means you're just going to copy down the notes with me. It's just three steps. So let's go ahead and start writing our steps first. Step one. Again, next week we're going to be gluing and pasting things you guys already have. This one was a little bit different only because of the way that I had to approach it for this time. Multiply the ones digit of the bottom number. Let's write that down. Multiply the ones digit of the bottom number and I am recording this and I am going to put it on our shared drive so then you guys see it also I just write down the steps first so if you ever need to go back to the steps once you guys see it in examples then you guys will see the flow of it Man, who knew English was in math? Especially math note, note taken, huh? Okay. But I'm not finished with step one. I got to add. So it says multiply the ones digit of the bottom number by the ones digit of the top number. Of the top number. I'll move my hand. And I'll give you guys some time to just write that down. So step one, multiply the ones digit of the bottom number by the ones digit of the top number. Okay. 
Jules, can you go ahead and find a seat for me, please? Missing some friends. Oh, there you go. Jackson, are you there? Okay. Are you writing this down? Do you have it printed? You're not going to take your notes? I'm going to take my notes. I just don't have the thing printed. Okay, who has step one written down? Give me thumbs up. There's only two more steps we need to write down and then we'll start doing some examples. Perfect, okay, so we're gonna go to step two now. I know this one's going to be, these steps are pretty wordy only because the way the traditional works, okay? I understand these, this one is wordy, okay? But once we do the examples, you'll understand what I mean. Okay, for the product in step one, so for the product in step one, comma, there's going to be more. And remember, product means answer to multiplication equation. Product is the answer to the multiplication equation. There's going to be more to step two. Hold on, I have friends writing me. Okay, give me thumbs up if you have your, if you have that so far so I can move on. I want to make sure everyone's with me. Okay, majority is with me. Perfect. Okay, so the rest of step two is put down the digit. In the ones place and carry the tens place. I'll move in a second. Whew. We got one more step and we're done. Then we get to play with the math. That's the part I like. So step two. For the product in step one, put down the digit in the ones place and carry the tens place.
Okay, who's done with step two so I can move on to our last step? I am. Okay, just give me thumbs up. I'm trying to give you guys plenty of time to just copy this down. It's right here. You just have to copy it. Okay, step three in our final step. Multiply the ones digit I'll move my hand in a second of the bottom number. There's going to be more to step three. Okay, let me finish the rest of step three. So bottom number by the tens digit, almost done, of the top number add what? You carried, and we're done in step two. Whew. Thank goodness our writing will be finished. Once you write this down, we're going to start doing examples. I know, it looks very overwhelming because it's so wordy, but this is, this is the traditional way. Once you guys write this down, we get to do examples, and that's going to be the fun part. You know, Miss H loves to color coordinate things, so that way they can kind of stand out a little more. So I'm going to choose some colors. You do not need to do this. This is just what Mrs. H does, so it stands out to you guys. Okay, who has finished writing down step one, step two, and step three? Give me thumbs up. Okay. Perfect. This is a perfect time for us to take our break. So go ahead and stand up for me, please, and do your stretching. We just wrote some good sentences, so let's do our stretching right now. Oh. This is Hansucker. I, I didn't have to write it. I just had to cut it out and put it on my paper. That's so. perfect. That's why I sent it to parents, if you guys can do that. Okay, go ahead and close your eyes for about five seconds. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and come back. And now we're going to work with our examples. Now we just have our steps. They look a little confusing, but they're going to make sense once we actually put them with numbers, okay? Okay. Jackson, you ready to start using some numbers? Yeah, fingers. Perfect. Okay. So let's come down here. And let's just go ahead and skip two lines and let's give you, let's say 45 times 3. Now, when we're writing traditional, we want to make it go where it's going from up to down, okay? We want it to be um, 
Oh my goodness, I just went blank. We want it to be vertically, okay? We want it to be from up to down. We want the one factor on top and we want the second factor on the bottom. And what I mean by that is normally we've been seeing it like this. Do you guys agree? We've been normally seeing equations like this where they're side to side horizontally. When we're doing traditional, we want it to be vertically because we want the place values to be in the same spot. We want them lined up. Yeah, it's called rounding. Okay, well, we're not rounding anything. We're not rounding anything right now. What we're doing yeah. is setting up our problem vertically. Yeah, I didn't mean to say rounding. I meant stacking. Thank, perfect, yes. We're stacking them on top of each other. So we have the ones in the same, they're lined up, and we have the tens lined up. So that's the first thing that's super important when you're doing traditional. Now the first thing it says is multiply the ones digit of the bottom number by the ones digit of the top. So what that actually means is I have to multiply these two. So what is five times three? Who can tell me what five times three is? Jordan, what is five times three? 15. 15. So I put down the 5, and I have to go ahead and now carry the 1. And that's what this second step is. Because the second step says, for the product in step 1, put down the digit in the 1's place and carry the 10's place. Now for step three, it says multiply the ones digit of the bottom number by the tens digit by the top number, and then you add whatever you carry. So what they're saying is, now I'm gonna go ahead and I have to multiply four times three. What is four times three? What is four times three? Leah, what is four times three? Four times three? Oh. Oh, okay. Twelve. Twelve plus this one up here. So twelve plus one is what? Thirteen. Thirteen. So now I go ahead and I write down thirteen. And I'm done. And I'm going to put a little bit of green right here, too, so you know you add. That's the traditional way. So we're going to do a couple more examples of that. But all that words Eve just pretty much told me I just have to make sure I'm multiplying everything. Okay, if you know this already, that's perfect. That's awesome. But I just need you still practicing it because now it's time for you to make a decision. Do you, are you going to do it traditional like this? Or are you going to do it like the area model like you did the other day? From now on, when you start multiplying, you have to multiply one of those ways for multi-digit by one digit. But let's continue on. Here we go. Let's do another one. Um... I'm going to say 72 times 9. Now, remember, I'm doing it vertically. So I have the factor 72 on top, and I have 9 on the bottom. I have the 1's place value lined up, and I have the 10's place value lined up. Thank you, Seth. <laughs> So the first thing I need to go ahead and do is I need to now multiply 9 times 2. Who can tell me what 9 times 2 is? Jackson, what is 9 times 2? 9 times 2 is 18. 18. So now step 2 is saying you put down the 8, and you have to carry or regroup that 1. Just like you do when you're adding, right? 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 
And then step three just tells me I have to now multiply nine times one, uh, nine times seven. What is nine times seven? Who can tell me? Jocelyn, what is nine times seven? What is it, Justin? I'm sorry. Sixty-three, right? And then I add the one. Don't forget this one up here. I have to add this one. So sixty-three plus one is sixty-four. And I'm going to circle my final answer. Okay, who has that note down with me? Okay, so notice how 72 is only two digit and then nine is only one digit. So this is a two digit by one digit. Do you think I can do the same strategy if I was doing a three digit by one digit? Yes, I can, huh? So let's do one. I'm going to bring this up. Someone give me a three digit number. I need a three digit number. Let's see here. Seth, give me a three digit number, please. 999. Oh, okay. So we're going to do 999. Okay. I need a friend to give me a one digit number. One digit number. Jeffrey, give me a one digit number. Nine. Nine. How did I have a feeling someone you were gonna say that? Okay. So nothing's changed yet, right? Nothing has changed. I still lined it up vertically. I put the ones in the ones place, tens in the tens place, hundreds in the hundreds place. Okay, according to my step, I have to first start in the ones. So that means nine times nine is what? Who can tell me what nine times nine is? Jackson, what is nine times nine? Nine times nine is 82. Mm, think one number down, not 82. 81. 81, perfect. So that means I'm going to bring down the one, and I have to carry the eight. Now, I'm adding arrows, so you're seeing what directions I'm working on when I'm multiplying. So, now I go 9 times 9 in the tens place. 9 times 9 is... Someone give me what 9 times 9 is. 9 times 9. Ezra, what is 9 times 9? 81. Plus... Eight now, Ezra. What is nine times, uh, what's uh, 81 plus eight? 89. 89. So that means I just bring down the nine, and I have to bring up the eight. So what do you think I have to times together now? Think of the pattern I'm going. What do you think I have to times now? Natalie. Nine times nine. Nine times nine again, because now I'm going to work in the hundreds. So nine times nine is, what is nine times nine? Natalie, can you help me out with that one? Eighty-one. Plus an eight, Natalie. Eighty-nine. So I bring down the nine. I don't have to regroup the 8 because there's not another place value, so I just go ahead and bring down the 8. And I'm finished. So that is 8,991. Now, 
Did anything really change when I did three digit by one digit? Not really, right? I just had to multiply one more place value. That's all I had to do. But I still followed the same steps, right? Okay, let's see what time it is. Okay. Hold on, I have friends. Okay, so do you think anything's going to change if I did four digit by one digit? Nothing, right? I'm just going to have to do the same steps, but I just have another place value to do. So let's try that one, and then we'll be done with our notes. Are we ready? I need someone to give me a four-digit number. Hadley, go ahead and give me a four-digit number. Four thousand. 4,000 even? You don't want to do other numbers? No. No? Okay, so we're going to work with some zeros. No. Okay, so we got 4,000. Good job. Now I need someone to give me just one digit. One number with a digit. Brandon. Seven. Seven. Okay, so according to my steps, I have to do step one by multiplying seven times zero. What is seven times zero? Show me on your fingers. What's seven times zero? Zero, because anything times zero is always zero, so zero. Then I have to go ahead and now do the next place value, seven times zero. Zero again. What is seven times zero again? Zero. Zero. Show me with your hands, please. Zero. Now this seven has to go ahead and do the hundreds now. So again, seven times zero is? Show me with your hands. Zero. Good. And then the last one is this 7 still has to multiply this 4. So now I'm going to go ahead and multiply the thousands. What is 7 times 4? I want hands, please. 7 times 4. Phoebe, what is 7 times 4? Um, 28. 28. I bring down the 8. I do not have to regroup the two because there's no place, there's no number here to regroup. So I go ahead and just bring down the two. And my final answer is 28,000. Wow, you guys multiplied multi digit, two digit by one digit, three digit by one digit four digit by one digit. Now, if you had a five digit by one digit, could you multiply it now? Right, right? We would be able to still multiply it. We would just have another place value. What about a eight digit by one digit? Could you multiply that? Yes, because now you just have more place values. All that means is that you just have to do more work. Can I give you guys, I wonder, how many of you guys caught on that this problem right here was just like last week's problem? If you had 4,000 times 7, does that look familiar to you now like last week's? The fast facts because the z ends in zeros. So did I really have to do all the steps here for this problem? Not really, huh? Because I could have just said 4 times 7 is 28, and then I could have added my zeros. Did I just get the same answer? 
But you see how this still works to get the answer? Because this is the traditional way to multiply multi-digit by one digit. What I mean is that see how 4,000 has multiple digits and 7 only has how many digits? Show me with your fingers. How many digits does 7 have? How many digits does the number 7 have? Okay, if 4,000 has four digits, how many digits does the number seven have? It only has one digit. It only has one digit. See how 4,000 has one, two, three, four digits? How about 99? How many digits does the number 99 have? How many digits does the number 99 have? Oh, friends, we are forgetting our math talk. We are forgetting the words a digit and numbers. 99, uh, 999 is a number. How many digits make up that number? One, two, three. How many digits make up the number 999? Show me with your fingers. Perfect. Nine, right here, is a number... But how many digits made up the number nine? How many digits? Look right here. How many am I pointing at? One. Oh, let's come back up here. We are forgetting our math talk. 72 is a number, but how many digits are in this number? They have a 7 and they have a 2. How many digits are in 72? Show me with your fingers, please. How many digits are in 72? 1, 2. How many digits are in 72? And last one, right here. 9 is a number, but how many digits make up that number? Okay, very important that you guys are knowing your math talk because those are how you're going to see them in your ants in your questions. Okay, so guess what? I want you guys to go ahead and start working today. If you have any questions and want to review right now, I'll stay on with you guys. If you guys are ready to start working on your daily tasks, go and start working on your daily tasks, my friend. Bye. Bye. Make sure you guys are catching up. It's notebook time next week. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, my friends. Ms. H? Yes. Can I see the... Uh, oh I can zoom out a little bit right here. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, if anyone has any questions, I'll stay on here and answer any questions right now. But this is a second method. Wyatt, you have a question for me? No? Okay. Go ahead and start working on your daily assignment. Okay. Emma, do you have a question for me? Emma? Oh, don't miss